So I have trained as a neuropsychologist, which is a PhD in clinical psychology, specialty training in neuropsychology, but I trained across several different age groups. I trained in pediatric neuropsychology, I trained in lifespan neuropsychology, and I trained in geriatric, older age neuropsychology. Also trained in functional brain neuroimaging, which means fMRI. Uh, back in the day before we had fMRI, we have a paper on SPECT scanning, the SPECT study, which is an earlier version of brain imaging. And then the lab I worked in also did diffusion tensor imaging, which is measuring just the white matter fiber, white matter fibers in the brain that connect the parts of the brain that really are the communication systems of how the brain works together. And then also trained in neurorehabilitation. So there's developmental disorders like dyslexia that are genetic. And so we call it dyslexia, which goes along with the genetic basis. There's also a reading problem that's literally probably about a hundred times more severe to improve than dyslexia, and it's called phonological alexia. And one group says we call it an alexia because it's an acquired disorder, meaning it's due to brain injury, like a stroke. And I spent 10 years doing studies, research, publications to show that we're about 70% successful rebuilding phonological skills, reading skills, speaking skills, and even spelling skills after brain injury using the same developmental approach that we use to help empower children, teens, and adults um, working on uh, empowering their dyslexia. 